Here in this question, we are told that the graphs of the equations y is equal to 2x plus 5 and y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1, they are shown. So, this straight line, the linear graph, is the one corresponding to y is equal to 2x plus 5. And this curve, okay, is the one corresponding to y is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. So, we are to use this information to answer questions 48 and 49. And here, the question 48, we are told to find the point of intersection of the two graphs. Yes, now... Um, normally, we know that yes, we normally use graph and we plot the solution to this kind of question and we look for the point of intersections in which, in this case, this point here and this point here, the one shown in red, they are the point of intersection. And we can say we want to try and trace them. And if we want to trace them, we'll do something like this. From here, we just move to the left hand side, and then from here, we move to the right hand side. And the point on the x axis is going to be one of the solution. And here also, we can see we are moving from here to the y axis and also to the x axis. And the point of intersection is also the solution. Now, if you look critically at this, I'm having quite a very difficult time trying to get that point out. For example, look at the first case. Okay, in this in this right hand corner. What I'm saying is 10, but look at the options. I'm not seeing 10 there. And even by the scale of this particular graph, initially I was thinking maybe it was a diagram that was not captured properly, but looking more and more intently, I'm saying that I think it's deliberate because by reason of a consistent scaling, this should be 5, this should be 10, maybe here should be 15, here is 20, here is 25. But deliberately, they put 5 in between this particular two. Okay? And look at, now, if that is not even the case, look at this lower one. This should be 5. Okay? This should be 10. Or, like they said, like they did in this upper range, this actually should be, now, this should be, 5 should be somewhere here. So, I think what was being requested was not actually to solve the question from the graph. Yes, the graph was there. I take it as a distraction. What are we solicit that we do? We are asked to find the point of intersection of the two graphs. These two points of intersection are the point in which the two graphs they are actually equal. So I can just say the point of intersection is the point in which 2x plus 5 is equal to 2x squared plus x minus 1. And I will get out the value of x and substitute for the value of y. Alright, so if I want to do that, I will say that is implying that 2x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 2x plus 5. I move everything to the right hand side, okay, to get the value of y. So I can say I'm having something like 2x squared. When 2x moves to this place, it becomes minus 2x, okay, and then x minus 2x will be minus x, then minus. When we have minus 1 here and we have 5 here, when 5 moves to the left hand side, it becomes minus 5. So the two of them will become minus 6 is equal to 0. And this is what I'm going to do. Now, looking at this, I'm having this particular quadratic equation that I can try and solve with whatever means I find suitable. Looking at this, I'm having a product that is 2 and minus 6. That is, the product is minus 12 s squared. And the sum, the sum will have to be minus x. Okay. Now, trying to solve that, what two numbers can I multiply together to give it? To give me minus 12 x squared i can consider um minus 4 x and 3 x okay if i'm using that i know that minus 4 times 3 that is minus 12 x times x that's x squared so i'm good now if i'm to sum them minus 4 x being added to 3 x we see give me minus x so i think that is a very good thing to use i can just say now instead of writing minus x I'll say I still have my 2x squared, okay, but now I'm going to say minus 4x, okay, plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, I can just call it like times. In the first instance, I have 2x is common to both. So, I will have x minus 2 remaining, then plus 3, 3 is common to both, x minus 2 remaining, that is equal to 0. So, this is going to give me 2x plus 3 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. If I solve for this, then I can say this is here. Yeah, I want to 
manage my space here. So I can say from this particular left hand side, I have um 2x plus 3 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. For this particular case, x will be minus 3 over 2 and here x will be 2. Minus 3 over 2 is the same as minus 1.5. Then for the other case, x is 2. But that's the value for x. Okay. Now looking at the options that I have in this particular case, I can see that now where are the options for x to be minus 3 over 2 and 2? Okay, yeah, okay, we have this. Look at this. For all of this, x is x is 2. In short, that is 2. And for all of this, minus 3 over 2. That's minus 1.5. That's consistent. So the bone of contention is not even the x. It is now the y that we need to look for. Okay? Is the y. And for my for my for my graph, if I want to look at that, the value for x in the first case, minus 1.5. You can see. This one, this, this minus one, this minus two, minus one point five is originally supposed to be in this in this particular middle, but it's not reflected there. It's moving towards the left, and here yeah, it's supposed to be exactly on two. But what I have is not exactly on two. So working from the graph is not what they really want us to do. So I've gotten the value for x to be minus one point five and two. Let me clear my board. So now, from where we are coming from here, we've been able to get that our hex is minus 1.5 or the hex is 2.0. So now, the task before us is that this particular values for hex, we are going to use it in any of these two equations, either the linear equation or the quadratic equation, to find the corresponding values for y. You can even look at the options that we are giving. We are seeing that now. 2, 2, 2, 2 is common to all of the options. Minus 1.5 is common to all of the options. So, the bone of contention is not with x. It is y that we need to clarify. So, in the first case, when x is... When x is... Minus 1.5, okay? What's going to be our y? If we want to use the equation y, it's called to... 2x plus 5, okay? In that case, y will be, to multiply by x will be 2 times minus 1.5, okay, plus 5. 2 times minus 1.5 is minus 3, okay, plus 5. Minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 2. So, for that first case, when x is minus 1.5, y is equal to 2. Now, I use this particular equation just to get that. In the second case, I can say I even want to use... The other quadratic equation because if you use the any of them you are going to get the same answer so in the second case when x is equal to 2.0 i want to use y to be 2s square plus x minus 1 okay so in that particular case y will now be 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 okay plus x that's 2 minus 1 this is going to give me 2 raised to the power 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we have 8 plus 2 which is 10 minus 1 and that is 9 okay so that is going to give me the solution as in the first case when x is minus 1.5 i have minus 1.5 what's the corresponding value of y it is 2.0 okay and in the second case when x is equals to 2.0 was corresponding value of y that is 9.0 and you can see looking at the options that we have we can see that option a 29 29 and minus 1.5 to minus 1.5 to is the correct solution to this question so if you are trying to just solve it from the graph and you want to accurately read it you are not going to get this correctly this is a good way this is the way that why can we expect that we go about trying to solve this question and it is our understanding of the intersection between a linear and the quadratic graph that can help us to solve this appropriately to get our answer as option a all right so here in this question number 49 already we have established the fact that we cannot trust the diagram that we are looking at we need to do our calculation ourselves we are now being told that if x is minus 2.5 what is the value of y on the curve now what's the what's the equation for y from the curve we're told that y 
originally is 2x squared plus x minus 1. That is for the curve, this particular curve. It's not a straight line, it's a quadratic graph. And that's why we have 2 raised to the power 2 times x raised to the power 2. Okay, that's why we have the power of x to be 2. But now we're not doing, told that when x is when x is equal to minus 2.5, what is that value of y? You know, if we also say we want to trace, we want to trace and when x is minus 2.5, okay. This is minus this is minus two. This is minus three. Yeah, in between the two, we just want to look at what's the value for y. Okay, yeah, okay, then we want to trace to the right. Okay, this corresponding value. You see, it's as if it's lying between five and ten. And that midpoint is supposed to be seven point five. But for crying out loud, seven point five is not even the option. So let's calculate this and see what we are going to get. So we can say that means that. We can plug the value of x as minus 2.5 into this equation so such that our y will be 2 times minus 2.5 raised to the power 2 okay plus minus 2.5 minus 1 okay so this is going to give us 2 times minus 2.5 raised to the power 2 that will be the same as 2.5 raised to the power 2 okay that's 6.25 so this to multiply by 6.25 okay then plus multiply by minus that will be minus 2.5 minus 1 all right so in that case the y will be 6.25 multiplied by 2 will be 12.5 okay minus 2.5 minus 1 that will be minus 3.5 all right so 12.5 minus 3.5 is nothing but 9.0 okay so you can even see how can we conclude that this is 9.0 no it's not closer to 10 in that regard so but for this question we've been able to work out and evaluate that the correct solution to the question that when x is minus 2.5 the value of y on the curve is going to be 9.0 so option c is the correct answer So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.